I Beast Paint has released their animation feature for quite some time now apparently. I'm 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 late. Sorry. I haven't tried it yet. So let's check it out right now. Okay, so when you create your new canvas, you want to scroll down to the very bottom for this animation section. I don't know if you need to update your Ibis Paint first or what, but if you cannot find this animation section, try updating your Ibis Paint first. I don't know what to choose, but I'm, I'm just gonna go for the first one. Okay, you can also choose the FPS. So I'm sure a lot of you already know what frames per second is, but if you don't, basically the higher the FPS, the smoother the animation is because there are more individual pictures or frames in every second. The highest FPS here is 30, but I'll get somewhere in between, so it doesn't take up much space. Okay, so the interface changes a little. There's an extra toolbar right here, and it's much easier to add layers and play your animation. This is much simpler and cleaner than Photoshop's animation, actually. Love it. This is the animation setting, which I cannot even pretend I understand. Listen, I actually took an animation class in college, but boy, I was so shit. Give me, give me a minute to re-educate myself. Two hours later. Okay, I took some time. So, frame per second, you already know. Play options is how you want the animation to play. There is loop, so your animation will play on loop. There is ping pong, which I don't know how to explain. So just look at your screen and you'll understand. One shot means the animation will only play once it won't loop or ping pong onion skin is i actually have to google this one but basically you can see the drawing before and after the one you're working on so you have guidelines for your animation so it looks more consistent and smooth i can see you're confused but you'll understand more as we actually animate today we'll be animating al Haytham from genshin because i miss al Haytham and i miss sumeru i love exploring fontaine but sometimes i go back to sumeru just to take a walk admire the trees and just be nostalgic you know i might need to touch real grass anyway i think i misspoke earlier this right here is called frames and this here is layers for drawing so you can create artwork as usual and i draw it in the wrong frame damn it be careful you guys don't be like me i'll sketch al Haytham real quick he always has this flat expression on his face so i think it'll be fun to animate his facial expression oh let's try giving him lini's facial expression you know the wink and the and his little but i noticed the resolution is not very high it's a bit pixelated i don't know if you can see but if you zoom in it's a bit pixelated but that's fine you know because it might take up a lot of space if it's hd quality which is why i will not render the artwork and make it semi-realistic i will just line art and color it with cell shading i actually really suck at cell shading i've been rendering for years and i actually forgot how to cell shading wait should i color it right now or should i wait until the whole animation is done yeah i think i should finish the animation first okay so the line art is done and i think i just need to duplicate and duplicate some more i'm so sh at animating so apparently when you duplicate the frames they keep all the layers like the first frame you copied so that's convenient let me try moving around his hair and then duplicate then move around some more and do you see the red and green lines here it's the onion skin so you can see the drawing before and after the one you're working on i think it's good to separate your layers it depends on what you're animating but if you want to animate like the movement of the hair then you should make the hair in the different layer and then you can just use liquify to make the movement instead of like drawing one by one but the thing about liquify is i don't know if you know this but it sort of blurred the lines so it's not as clear as your original drawing so please keep that in mind but anyway let's try play the animation <laughs> what the hell <laughs> this is not what i have in mind at all let's create a blinking animation first something simple before we move on to more complicated stuff the onion skin is really helpful to keep your drawing consistent so the eyes are not all over the place I'm gonna move his hair around as well so it looks more dynamic as he blinks. If you only move it around a little with liquify, the line shouldn't look too blurry. Whoa, guys, this looks legit. Like, look, he's blinking. 
He's blinking. Is this the satisfaction that animators feel? Okay, I know what you're thinking. Fuck, this is just blinking animation. First of all, it's not complete yet. When you play it, it's weird because this is actually not complete yet. You would have to duplicate this and then wait, can you move it? Yeah. Fit here and then duplicate here and move it here. So kind of you duplicate it backwards. That's not it. But when you're creating blinking animation, you need to create two parts. Eyes open and eyes closed. And instead of drawing it, you can just copy paste the previous frames. Huh. <sighs> That's what I was trying to say, but my brain won't cooperate. I need to write it down and then read it out to you guys, because my brain won't cooperate. I will make all Hatem give us a wink, like Lini. I'll just replicate what I did for the blinking animation, but only for one eye. I think I should move the eyebrows a little as well. I realized I could just copy paste the blinking animation, but it's too late, I have drawn too much. I think it's also a good idea to have some references on how the facial muscles would move, or you can just have a mirror nearby and try the expression yourself. I just found out that when you do the, the, the blap, you know, the the bleh. You would pout a little before sticking your tongue out. I know it seems small and insignificant, but these tiny movements can make your animation more natural. I'm not a professional animator by the way, this is just something I noticed while recording this. Alright, alright, the animation is pretty much done, we just have to color this. Again, I suck at cell shading, but I don't think I have the physical and mental capacity to render this into semi-realistic painting and animating it. So I'm not sure if I can copy the colors to all the frames. Can you do that? No? Please don't make me color them manually. Okay, I think the quickest way right now is to copy paste them one by one to the rest of the frames. But let's do that later and shade it first. This is just a simple animation after all. I don't think the shading would change much. I do, however, have a hard time cell shading the hair. Usually, I will blend the colors a lot when painting semi-realism, but I don't think it will look good here. I'm changing the brush into something with sharper edges. Yeah, I think this one looks better. I am, however, erasing the edges with soft eraser so it doesn't look very harsh. Oh, let's not forget about highlights. They make everything better. The color is a bit boring, so let me adjust the color using tone curve. Unfortunately, you do need to pay to use it in Ibis Paint. But if you're F2P, free to paint, you can try using hue saturation or color balance. Okay, shading done. Now we can copy paste to the rest of the frames, which is a very boring and tedious process. Oh god, this is so boring. Okay, um, would you would you guys like to hear a joke? In the meantime, I got one. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we have to adjust the color so it aligns with the line art and erasing the excess colors. Seriously though, animators are like on whole nother level of patience. Especially animators who hand draw their animation. Dude, like mad respect. It's a shame that we cannot see his other eye so I will erase the hair just a little so you can see his eye. And now I have to do it to the rest of the frames. Yes, great, I love animating. I think it's also a good idea to erase the line art a little so it looks softer. Okay, I think, I think we are done, hopefully. Let's play the animation. Oh, will you look at that? His fringe is inconsistent, damn it. But overall, he looks adorable. He looks really sweet, so sweet it hurts my teeth. I wonder what would happen if I increase the FPS. Oh, it's faster. Okay, let me adjust the duration. Okay, so I adjusted the duration for 0.13 second each. And let's see. It's similar with the 15 FPS one, but it just looked smoother. No, actually, it's much smoother. You know what? This is not bad. For someone who sucks at animation, I think this is pretty good. Fung, you still suck! Hey! Feelings. I would say though, the animation interface in Ibis Paint is very clean and simple. It's very easy to understand for beginners. You cannot expect anime studio quality or anything, but it is very good for a free app in my opinion. Anyway, let me know if you've tried it. What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And I am out.